नमस्कार बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आप सभी का आपके अपने शो जिसका नाम है नारी तो नारायणी जस्ट टू गिव यू ग्लिम्स ऑफ टूडेज एपिसोड लेट मी गिव यू फ्यू फैक्ट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू अ रिपोर्ट रिलीज बाय मेकेजी एंड कंपनी इन द ईयर टू वुमेन मेक फोर्टी ऑफ द एंट्री लेवल एम्प्लॉयज इन एनी फॉर्म अवेवर देर शेयर डिप्स टू थर्टी एट मैनेजीरियल लेवल्स एंड This number continues to go down if you look higher up. Also, 64% of women tend to face microaggressions, which means the colleagues and people around they tend to judge them. They think of them as junior level employees, and their judgments, as in the women's judgments, are often questioned within their own areas of expertise. And not to forget, around 35% of women worldwide. face sexual harassment at workplace but is it for real kya ye abhi bhi hota hai ye sab janenge hum apne panelists ke sath lekin kyunki abhi navratri ka parv chal raha hai to main sneha jain ma tv aur nari tu narayani ki puri team ki or se aap sabhi ko navratri aur durga puja ki bahut bahut shubhkamnaye deti hu dosto kehte hain maa durga ke nau roop जो होते हैं वो एक नारी के जीवन की सभी भूमिकाओं को चित्रित करते हैं यानी कि सभी रोल्स को डेमोन्स्ट्रेट करते हैं इस शो में हम भी विमेन से रिलेटेड उन, उनके द्वारा प्ले किए गए सभी रोल्स उनसे रिलेटेड चैलेंजेस और सोल्यूशंस का डिस्कशन करते हैं तो चलिए आज हम एक डिफरेंट लेकिन बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट रोल के बारे में बात करते हैं जी हाँ वर्किंग वुमेन की डेफिनेटली अभी तक आप हमारा आज का टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन समझ ही गए होंगे इट इज जेंडर बायस बट हमें समझना ये है कि इज जेंडर बायस फॉर रियल और इज इट जस्ट अ हिस्ट्री और ये कभी था ही नहीं इट्स जस्ट अ मिथ और ये हमारे इट वॉज इट वॉज जस्ट इन इन आर हेड्स तो इन सब पे चर्चा करने के लिए हमारे पास एलिट पैनलिस्ट मौजूद हैं सो so, सबसे पहले मिली है डॉक्टर प्रेरणा तांबे she has done her phd from london university she is an hr analytics specialist and a lecturer a very warm welcome doctor thank you very much and it's a pleasure to be here thank you uh, and we have monica ji she is a business consultant sorry business psychologist along with a consultant and uh, she has uh, also uh, done a fellow research uh, study uh, with howard kennedy school She has worked with Scotland Yard and uh, been a business consultant in banking industry as well. So very warm welcome, Monica ji. Thank you very much for having me. Sure. So start करते हैं प्रेरणा जी सबसे पहले तो इस जार्गन के बारे में समझना चाहेंगे. What exactly is gender bias? ये है क्या? Oh, uh, gender bias जो आपने बोला कि um, पहले हम तो as a woman it's our responsibility कि gender bias को हम decode करें so that हमारे audiences भी समझे. और जो मेल है उनके लिए ये समझना बहुत जरूरी है क्योंकि इफ यू लुक एट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर क्रिएटेड बाय मेन फॉर मेन एंड हियर एज ए वुमन वी आर स्ट्रगलिंग टू मेक आर स्पेस या एंड टू मेक आर प्रेजेंस फेल्ड सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट जेंडर बायस एक्चुअली मींस बिकॉज अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट कॉन्सेप्ट वुड डेफिनेटली हेल्प अस टू काइंड ऑफ डिफाइन दैट प्रॉब्लम वील वर्क आउट सम सोल्यूशन एंड we will take our journey forward yes, so for me gender bias is about unequal treatment uh, for any gender uh, in organization and that could be at the time of your promotions that could be at the time of uh, at the time of your um, privileges or pay gaps and various other things which makes you discriminated against the other gender so that is gender bias and once the gender bias takes place it becomes a discrimination okay. so understanding gender bias is important and as i said it's the man's world and organizations are created by men so as a woman it's our responsibility to challenge those biases mm-hmm. and also we have to help people to change their mindset and draw a road map for a equality journey That is what I would uh, think. So you're saying it's a collaborative effort. It's not only that gender bias, ko, uh, you know, come to do only males who put their own effort. We have to do more effort to make them understand. We do it, which is we do. And when we talk about organizations, organizations' for, and when you talk about businesses, 
there's a strong business case for organizations to have equality and promote equality. Yeah. That's so the first case I would say is when you talk about gender equality, you have a huge human resources pool. As you mentioned that 50% of the women are there at lower level jobs. And as the pyramid becomes narrow, you don't see many women. Why we don't see many women? We have to understand that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when we talk about for organization, if they have a strong human resources pool, and if they uh, have uh, gender equality policies, that human resources pool would be utilized well in the organization. And for organizations, when you see 50% of their consumers are women, so if they want to understand the perspective of their consumers, they need more women employees to understand what the service and products their customers are using. So that makes a strong business case. And also more women in leadership makes the organization look good. It's good for your corporate social responsibility as well. So there's a strong case for organizations to treat women equally and give them equal opportunities uh, to flourish in the organizations. Monica, okay. let's go to your Types of gender biases के बारे में थोड़ा हमें जानकारी दीजिए क्योंकि कई बार हमें पता नहीं होता है कि is this a you know particular incident does it fall under gender bias or not so इसके बारे में थोड़ा बताइए sure yeah so basically um uh, the way the best way to look at it is to look at the journey of a, a person entering an organization all the way through right from when they join um, when they are going through the organization to when they leave at different points, organizations make decisions, who decide who they want to recruit into the company, uh, you know, how they want to develop them and train them and promote them, and then finally when people leave. And these are different points where uh, organizations make decisions, and that's where the opportunity for bias can arise. For example, if they set a criteria um, for applying for a job, it, there could be some criteria that is biased against women and you know gives them extra challenges that perhaps the male um, candidates don't have. So it's, it's bias occurs at different points um, in, in the kind of employee life cycle, we call it. So different points from when they join an organization, when they're going through it, to when they leave. Okay. So, and at every step, a particular woman or or you know a class of say the employees mm -hmm. could be a, a woman or a man but yeah since we are talking about women mm -hmm. so they need to be aware that this this particular incident could you know come under so i have i i would like to quote some uh, statistics from harvard business uh, cases i mean uh, they looked at almost twenty thousand organizations mm -hmm. and they found that in those 20,000 organizations, almost 60% of organizations did not have women at board levels. Yeah, And also, if you look at 50% of the organization didn't have women at the C-suite. Yeah, So these are the statistics we are talking. And those statistics are more culture-oriented as well. Because I said, uh, as we said, gender bias is embedded so much in the system, and it's part of our culture. If you look at in Japanese companies, only 2% of women are at board level, mm -hmm. and those uh, numbers are alarming. But at the same time, we have some countries, like for European countries, you will see almost 30% of women at board level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And the statistics also shows that those organizations who practice equality, their share prices have gone up. So there's a strong case for organizations. A strong case for the organizations. Yeah. If you want your share prices to go really up and all the time up, please bring more and more women in the workplace. You know, I mean, work uh, things have definitely positively changed for a woman. Mm -hmm. But um, gender bias journey is a continuous one. So exactly, Isi par Prerna ji, we would like to know ki, jaise hum kehte hain ki ya, things have changed. Like you've mm -hmm. also mentioned ki Europe mein things are a uh, little better than a few other geographies. So abhi current scenario kya hai and how have we made that transition ki pehle situations shayad worse thi. So mm -hmm. abhi humne better kya hai. So how did we, you know, transit through that journey aur aage kaise karna chahiye? Yeah, that's a very uh, important question to discuss and I'm glad that you asked that question. We see that things have changed, yeah? And जैसे हमारे नानियों, दादियों की और मम्मियों की condition थी, उससे तो हम बेहतर हैं. Like we have the privilege of studying in foreign universities and selecting our careers and selecting our lives. Yeah. So that has changed. But a lot of efforts have been put in 
for us to reach this position. And I'm sure that this is a continuous journey and it's our responsibility to look at what has gone into this current situation, what is the current situation and how we could have a roadmap for future. Exactly. Yeah? So if you look at, uh, in terms of, uh, I mean, I'll just touch upon a little bit about legal systems and as we Definitely said that- Definitely we yeah. would like to know about legal yeah. systems because women here who are watching our show, most of them would be working women for this episode especially. So sure. they would like to know what are, because kai bar hame legal aspects or uh, solutions ya hamare liye kya facilities hai, we're not aware of them. It would be good if we could touch yeah. so upon them. gender bias defined kiya hai. Uske saath hum legal system and then we'll provide some solutions, yeah? Definitely. But uh, uh, to uh, get our attention back, uh, as we discussed that gender bias mein bohat sare laws hai, yeah? Mm -hmm. We had uh, uh, sex discrimination law and then we had equal pay law. But abhi current scenario mein we have this Equality Act 2010, mm -hmm. which has made life easy because it's kind of, you know, amalgamation of various laws which would protect women against sexual harassment, against discrimination, against gender bias. So things have legally changed, yeah? But this system is designed by men. So we have to help them to redesign the system in terms of legal terms and in terms of business terms, okay. yeah? Mm -hmm. So uh, that is my take on that because of legal, uh, and punitive measures and highlighting a uh, lot of issues and women have come forward to discuss these things you know mm -hmm. and many times those biases are so much embedded within the system that people don't even realize that it's a mm -hmm. bias say for example women will not make good managers or women can re can't read a map women can't do mathematics or men are more smarter so those kind of stereotypes are there within the organizations and within the society so we have to challenge those stereotypes and we have to demand more legal protection we have to make our voices heard for us to get into equal I situation agree to what you're saying Pranaji, but i have seen this uh, we all are working women we have experienced this that ye stereotype break karne ke liye, we're trying so hard that we are jumping out of our comfort zones which is okay but we are pushing uh, even each other and ourselves a lot and it is at times a very uh, toiling mm -hmm. for women yeah uh, ek bar, uh, monica ji abhi aapne ek uh, point touch kiya tha uh, prerna ji ki less than 5% of the women are the ceos mm -hmm. uh, in firms so monica ji you've been a business psychologist and you've worked with organizations through and through so just wanted to understand ki uh, why does this happen and how can we cope through this as in the glass ceiling to hair can mm -hmm. we break this or is it or how to how to work around this yeah absolutely i mean the glass ceiling you, know, you describe the journey that we've had so far and it has been a journey and initially if you think about things like discrimination you know the, the laws protect against direct discrimination so people can't say i'm not going to hire you because you're a woman so you know we've, we've moved on from the kind of direct thing of <clears throat> discrimination to indirect where things are more subtle and sometimes a bit harder to understand. And so whilst we've had the laws to support us now, you know, what we're seeing is a younger generation are coming up and they've got different expectations. Exactly. Um, you know, they're demanding this equality for gender and so forth. And it, it's normal and there's more and more women in the workplace, whereas historically there weren't. There was less women, now there's more women. So there's more of a need for this. So in terms of kind of how to tackle it and how to move forward, um, so it operates on two levels. So the first level is organizations. Mm -hmm. So organizations have a responsibility to understand what is happening, mm -hmm. looking at their statistics, looking at, you know, where the bottleneck is. So as you say, the pyramid, you know, there's lots of, for example, graduates coming in, mm -hmm. in a profession, and then the managers is less, and then you get the board and there's hardly any. So what's happening? So an organization has a duty to look at the data at the different levels and put in place initiatives to support them, for example, um, the creation of, you know, women's networks, for example, the creation of mentoring uh, schemes to support, um, you know, aspiring, very talented women to, to move up the organization. And then there's also something about the women themselves and kind of, again, creating, you know, opportunities to empower them, to support each other for, you know, I would encourage women to go and get mentors and you know get sponsors in organizations to help them um, you know really focus on their development and really be clear on what their own development goals are and really push themselves and understand what the stereotypes are or what the biases are you know the common ones 
um, what the common ones are and um, you know try and try and learn to, to overcome those so yeah, I mean, to add to Monica's point yeah. I mean a lot of it's been done within organization level I mean to give you an example that countries like Netherlands and Norway mm -hmm. they have quota system for women to get into senior leadership levels a uh, quota mm -hmm. system uh, Prina ji definitely uh, shared countries like Netherlands would be, uh, you know, suitable uh, geography for that. I don't think Asian countries and, uh, you know, the uh, places like UK where the workforce is yeah. huge. The quota system misuse. Quota the system, yeah, percentage. quota system, ka, I mean, I, I'll uh, just answer that question because, uh, of course, I mean, it's just an effort by some of the countries, yeah. Mm -hmm. But quota system definitely research doesn't show that quota system has definitely helped for women You're just but it's up to yeah, yeah there, there are there are ways of uh, doing things yeah. and at recruitment also uh, the policies are designed and devised in such a way say for example if you are recruiting a woman and uh, this is the uh, recruitment advertisement that i need a salesman and you want women to come into the uh, resource pool then you have to design your advertisement in such a way that I need a salesperson with so and so traits that women feel comfortable to come and join your organization. And you need to have those right policies in place where you have promote gender equality. You have to create that culture of gender equality. And that culture starts from recruitment by reiterating your messages, making a welcoming cultures more policies to safeguard uh, women employees and men employees as well because when you talk about gender bias we have to kind of have a balance, balance. Uh, view and um, also child friendly policies maternity leave paternity leave yeah, yeah. Or also have a child care facility at workplace so that more women can come in and uh, going back to organizations making efforts to have more a woman at board of directors levels or high levels, but that works for very few women, right? We have heard names of uh, Marisa Mayer and we have heard names of Inga yeah, Noe, yeah. but quite a few women can take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. But the real need is for us to make sure that women at mid level, women at senior level get those facilities so that they grow up the ladder, yeah, during. Uh, their organizational tenure and get mentored, get trained and take those positions naturally. So we don't have to have quotas or we don't have to do anything else. It, ha it is an organic growth for a woman from lower level to high, higher level or a CEO level or board level. So there are, there are strategies organizations have to implement from recruitment to training to appraisal to gender pay gap and those kind of things organizations could do it meaningfully. Okay, so yeah. utilizing the laws and working around with their own, uh, you know, organizational policies and procedures, just helping women around, uh, making them feel comfortable so that they can just focus on their careers within the organization. They're not, you know, worried about, oh, am I being judged because I'm a woman or because I'm married and like you mentioned the paternity leave thing as well. No, yeah. we get maternity leaves, yeah. but a paternity leave will actually help the males to take that leave and relieve yeah. women of their responsibilities so yeah. that in turn will help women to perform better in their jobs as well uh, agree totally we will go on a short break but before that uh, a quick message from the discussion which we have had till now organizations women and men all of them have to work together to uh, you know reduce this gender bias to an extent that it becomes negligible. Definitely, we can't finish it. But we've come a very long distance uh, since our ancestors uh, or say our parents' time. We are doing really good and we need to go uh, even further. Uh, we will, after the break, we will discuss about, you know, the maternity leave or apne bolada and, you know, self-help and the kind of uh, facilities which are available for women uh, after uh, maternity and uh, what all could be done. So, हमारे साथ जुड़े रहिए मिलते हैं एक छोटे से ब्रेक के बाद The hottest new data offer of the year is with Leica Mobile. Now you can get a phone-busting 40 gigabytes of data with UK Plan Mega, plus unlimited minutes and texts and 100 international minutes for just 20 pounds when you buy online. 
valid for 30 days and EU roaming included. This amazing offer is available for both new and existing customers when purchased at likeamobile.co.uk. Terms and conditions apply. Like a mobile. Board fresh, treat fresh, with lower altitude cabin pressure. Enjoy Air India Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Amazing feel, amazing features. Jay Lakhani. Sri Lakhani is a popular public speaker on Hinduism in the United Kingdom. He offers Hindu teachings to hundreds of youngsters, as well as thousands of students in schools, colleges, and universities. In a series of talks given to the postgraduate students at a dozen or so universities, he explores the depth of Hindu teachings as well as its breadth of vision. If you wish to get a glimpse of the modern, dynamic face of Hinduism, do not miss this series of talks. Board fresh, treat fresh, with lower altitude cabin pressure. Enjoy Air India Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Amazing feel, amazing features. Becoming a dad is fantastic. Right now, life seems better than ever, and I want to take care of my family in the future too. So I'm sorting out my life insurance with Beagle Street. If anything happened to me, the mortgage would be covered, the bills would be paid. And Sam will get a good start in life. Hello, Beagle Street, how can I help? Hi, I'm interested in life insurance. What kind of costs am I looking at? I'm confident it will cost less than you expect. Beagle Street is better value than many others. For example, a 32-year-old could get £200,000 of cover for under £7 a month. OK, sounds good. And it's really easy to apply. You don't need a medical. I'll just ask you a few questions about your lifestyle. Great. Let's go ahead. At Beagle Street, we look after our customers. Independent reviews rate us excellent, and we include a free will writing service worth £125. So take care of your family with our simple, affordable life insurance. Call 0800 980 0977 or go to BeagleStreet.com. School Jana to ek sapna tha. Rose dekta. Us khane wali gadi ko. Sab ko badhiya khana. खुशी होती थी देखकर फिर वो दिन आया जब मैं भी गया स्कूल लगा कि सपने देखने की ताकत मिल गई हो अरे पेट भरा हो तो पूरा ध्यान पढ़ाई में रहेगा ना प्रार्थना करता हूँ कि वो खाने वाली गाड़ी हमेशा स्कूल आती रहे थैंक यू अक्षय पात्र आइए हाथ बटाइए ताकि भारत में 16 लाख से भी ज्यादा बच्चों को स्कूल में पौष्टिक खाना मिलता रहे Welcome back, friends. We are discussing the topic of gender bias at workplace. Uh, we have Prerna Ji and Monica Ji with us uh, to discuss and take us through the problems and the solutions. Uh, they are both uh, working women, and uh, Prerna Ji is a mother as well. So, Prerna Ji, you should understand that we see this a lot, and it happens as well. Kya maternity leave ke baad, ya if we have to say so, after a woman becomes a mother? उनका करियर ग्राफ थोड़ा गिर जाता है ग्रोथ लेवल में प्रॉब्लम्स आती है प्रमोशन में प्रॉब्लम आती है ये होता है और होता है तो क्यों होता है कैसे होता है आ, अभी ये होता है इसीलिए हम जेंडर बाइस डिस्कस कर रहे हैं अग्रीड बट ये दोनों साइड से देखने की बहुत जरूरी है क्योंकि अगर आपको आपके स्टीरियोटाइप ब्रेक करने हैं जेंडर बायस के अगेंस्ट खड़ा रहना है तो आपको एज अ वुमन बहुत रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी लेनी पड़ेगी दैट इज वॉट आई वुड थिंक एंड इफ यू लुक एट जैसे हमने डिस्कस किया कि अभी मेटर्निटी लीव में अगर आप देखोगे तो 
ज्यादातर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में मेटर्निटी लीव के प्रोविजन है उसका प्रविधान है लॉ में कि आपको तीन महीने तक पेड लीव मिलती है फिर उसके बाद आप थोड़े देर तक एक्सटेंड कर सकते हो वो कुछ सर्टेन अमाउंट आपके सैलरी में से डिडक्ट होता है सो वो आपको पहले देखना है आपके ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की मेटर्निटी लीव की पॉलिसी क्या है आपके राइट क्या है आप आपका एम्प्लॉय हैंडबुक जो होगा वो बहुत अच्छी तरह से देखिए तो आपको अवेयर होगा और उसी तरह से आप प्लान कर सकते और मेटर्निटी लीव के बाद या तो बच्चे होने के बाद आई वुड थिंक कि माए ज्यादा जॉब रेडी हो जाती है दे लर्न लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स दे डेवलप लॉर्ड ऑफ ट्रांसफरेबल स्किल्स आई एम अम ऑफ टू एंड आफ्टर माई किड्स बर्थ आई वुड से आई बिकम मोर एम्पथेटिक या आई कैन मेक क्विक डिसीशन आई कैन मैनेज माई टाइम सुपर पावर आ कहीं ना कहीं एक माइंड सेट आ जाता है पियर्स में या मैनेजरियल लेवल पे हमारे हायर मैनेजमेंट में नाउ शी हेज बिकम अ मदर तो लेडी का मे बी शायद अब थोड़ा ध्यान और फोकस घर की तरफ हो जाएगा और शी हैज किड्स सिंपथी के चलते या जो भी है ये डिस्क्रिमिनेशन कहीं आ जाता है मे बी शी डिजर्व बेटर ये नेचुरल प्रोसेस है एंड the the next generation or the coming generation or coming is not the parent responsibility now it has to be a national responsibility because Agreed. you need better people to help us manage this world better isn't it तो इसलिए अभी अगर कोई माँ है अगर any lady who's there और उनको अगर उन्होंने किसी organization में अगर 26 week if any woman has worked in the organization consecutively for 26 weeks she can ask for flexi working she can ask for remote working ye kaun si geography specific hum uh, ye uk geography yeah, mein okay. uh, hai mm-hmm. ha to aap aapke rights dekhiye mm-hmm. agar koi uh, organization chahta hai ye sab cheeze promote karne ke liye sirf mothers ke liye hai ya koi bhi lady koi bhi lady agar jinke chote bacche hai care responsibility hai और घर में कोई बड़े बुजुर्ग है उनका रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी सो सो समबडी हु हैज अ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एज अ केयरर कैन रिक्वेस्ट फॉर फ्लेक्सिबल वर्किंग एंड इफ इट इज पॉसिबल फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बिकॉज समटाइम्स एज बिजनेस इट बिकम्स डिफिकल्ट टू हैव दो फ्लेक्सी पॉलिसीज और वर्चुअल वर्किंग पॉलिसीज बट देर इज अ प्रोविजन इन लॉ दैट पीपल कैन मेक हमें एज वुमेन और मदर्स खुद पहले ये समझना होगा कि कहाँ पे प्रॉब्लम्स है हाँ. और कहाँ हमारे लिए ऑलरेडी फैसिलिटीज अवेलेबल है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में एंड देन वी हैव टू रियलाइज देम उनको यूज करना है उनको कैपिटलाइज करना है और अपना वर्क भी अफेक्ट ना करते हुए हमें ये चीज इंश्योर करनी है कि जो हमें ऑलरेडी सुविधाएं दी जा रही हैं उन्हें हम यूटिलाइज करें और हमेशा सिर्फ ब्लेम ना करें ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कल्चर को बिकॉज कई बार मैनेजमेंट लोगों के लिए स्पेशली वेमेन के लिए सोच के बहुत सारे ऐसे प्रावधान बनाते हैं सरकार भी करती है हर जगह करती है यूके लॉ आपने डिस्कस किया भारत में अभी रिसेंटली आया है तो चीजें बदल रही हैं हमें खुद थोड़ा जागरूक होने की जरूरत है कमिंग अप टू यू मोनिका जी फ्रॉम दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन परस्पेक्टिव ऐसा एक्चुअल में मतलब डेफिनेटली देर आर फ्यू एज शी इज ऑल्सो मैं कि हाँ ठीक है फेसिलिटीज है बट वॉट नीड्स टू बी डन एंड वॉट इज अ काइंड ऑफ माइंड सेट दैट वी सी इन दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कल्चर Yeah. for mothers right now so i think uh, i mean it's it's almost sort of two sections one is the the things that brenandy's already mentioned around the practices flexible mm-hmm. working working from home you know these pra- very practical things that people can do but also organizations need to think about the wider culture and that's where the piece about stereotyping comes in you, you know what is this image in game mind mein aata hai ki bhi ab ye mother ban gayi inka dhyan idhar nahi hoga and there needs to be more awareness around mm-hmm. that more thinking you know is that you know is that really the case or is uh, is somebody making an assumption agreed 
Um, and then there was around something around raising the awareness, not just for the for the woman and the manager, but actually the wider organization. What about the teammates? What about the other colleagues? What about other staff? Exactly. How do they view this woman? She's now got a child, you know? So there is some work to be done beyond just those practices to kind of look at the wider culture um, and then also provide support to the woman. So agar koi, um, you know, एक साल से कम पे नहीं गया तो उसको कैसे सपोर्ट करेंगे वो वापस आए और उसको सारा पता चले सो फॉर एग्जांपल सम कंपनीज हैव अ कीप इन टच स्कीम सो ड्यूरिंग द टाइम द मदर इज ऑफ दे विल चेक इन वंस अ मंथ फोन कॉल इनवाइट द मेन कम इन सी एवरीबॉडी उनको पता चलता रहे कि कंपनी में क्या हो रहा है सो दैट दे डोंट लूज द टच एग्जैक्टली सो दे आर केप्ट अप टू डेट बिकॉज़ दैट्स द प्रॉब्लम इफ यू आर अवे फ्रॉम वर्क एज अ वुमन फॉर एग्जांपल विद विद द मैटरनिटी लीव और योर केयरिंग फॉर एन एल्डरली रिलेटिव यू लूज कांटेक्ट you don't you don't know what's going on exactly. how do you stay connected and because now we have technology we have exactly. all this technology. We do video calls video conferencing with yeah. your team and everything yeah. and you can, keep, people, you can well, yeah? keep people connected even when they are away so it's thinking more broadly than the kind of more obvious uh, you know legal kind of uh, you know having that, that and that maternity break, break can be staggering as well you can work part time for some time and then as the kid grows you can become part of that full time workforce exactly ye hum bilkul janna chahenge aapse prerna ji aapne pehle bhi kaha tha aapne mention kiya ki when you were pregnant and during your maternity leave and uh, those days of your leave you even learned more hmm. so wo hum samajhna chahenge ki from women because monica ji you explained from the organization's perspective right what mm-hmm. should be their mindset but women ka kya mindset hona chahiye aur unhe kya actually kis direction mein apne aap ko train karna chahiye so that they become job ready or business ready as and when you know their maternity leave uh, comes to an end pehle to acceptance bahut zaruri hai ki motherhood part and parcel of life hai agree yeah? एंड इससे आपके करियर में थोड़ा ब्रेक हो सकता है या करियर में थोड़ा पीछे हो सकते हो दैट्स ओके बट यू हैव टू टेक ओनरशिप ऑफ योर करियर या व्हेन यू आई मीन फॉर एग्जांपल व्हेन आई फेल प्रेग्नेंट विद माय ट्विन्स माय करियर वाज एट पीक आई वाज वाइस डीन ऑफ सम कॉलेज एंड देन फिजिकली इट वाज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर मी टू गो एंड डू दैट जॉब बिकॉज when you are teaching when you are lecturer physically you have to be in the classroom Keep so i couldn't have uh, done that if i was doing online teaching i could have used that facility but as i said as you mentioned the technology is so important mm-hmm. when i was pregnant during my pregnancy i took up a mega research project and i used technology to the best survey monkey collected responses mm-hmm. for me while i was in hospital okay. and when i came after that i had huge uh, database and i had done a lot of reading and lot of resources as available for you to keep yourself updated yeah you can use your local library when you're taking your kids around go to local library read some books there are lot of seminars happening free of cost for women who have had career break they could help you in designing your cv writing your cv use technology use your linkedin profile those kind of facilities are available Actually, there's a time network hame milta hai you know when we're working full time yeah. uh, we'll okay i need to you know uh, beautify my linkedin profile and mm-hmm. i'm not getting time it's not yeah. that we're not getting time we're so busy immersed in our day to day work yeah. life that hum choti cheeze bhul jate hain like you said you know you were studying on research so ye research karna ya survey karna we can do from our home we sitting like you mentioned yeah. hospital mein baith ke oh. so ek mindset hone ki zarurat hai sahi ki yeah i need to learn i need yeah. to go ahead and set an example like you would have done for your kids as well so just say ki as in see, even now your cv doesn't have that break right hamare cv mein break aa jata hai which is theek hai genuine hai kai bar cases aise hote hain jab medically possible nahi hai for you to put a lot of strain on your uh, brain and you know physically or maybe reading is not allowed things like that wo cases different hote hain aur unke liye alag cheeze ho sakti hai you can just talk to people in video conferences mm-hmm. like you mentioned but otherwise hame koshish karna chahiye ki hum zyada se zyada padhe updated rahe updated rahe if we are if we already have got kids who are very young then library jaye unhe bhi thoda time spend karwaye wahan pe it's like a change in your monotonous lifestyle so ek yeah. ek working lady jo bahut time se kaam kar rahi hai achanak se break lag jata hai life mein and no, it's like depressing ye hai and no, you have to take somehow charge of your own life and 
छोटे छोटे स्टेप्स से आप आगे बढ़ सकते हो बिकम क्रिएटिव एंड आई मीन टेक्नोलॉजी इज ग्रेट यू नो एंड नॉट इवन वुमेन विद चिल्ड्रन बट इवन इवन द वर्किंग बिजी वुमेन आई मीन यू कैन नाउ डू यू डोंट इवन हैव टू गो टू द लाइब्रेरी यू कैन लिटरली गेट ऑन योर फोन गो ऑन टू यूट्यूब एंड वॉच अ टेड टॉक on a, a topic mm, okay. so if you work in a particular area and you think oh my god technology is coming i've been out of away from work or even if i am working and you want to stay ahead you know you're waiting for your train you have 10 minutes you know 10 minutes hai aap youtube laga le usme video ko dekh le you can learn something you can read an article mm. linkedin has so basically much. don't give others a chance to judge you based on your expertise just show them right in their face that i am something who is actually very much learned and still in practice i am not i was not on break and i am not a someone who has become incompetent after i've uh, given birth or something it's, it's what you want i mean i think i don't think people should put unnecessary mm. pressure on themselves you have to see what no, if you're saying that you know yeah. i want equality yeah. in the organization you know equality and uh, a kind of uh, you know promotion atmosphere wherein uh, women are usually uh, facing these hindrances mm-hmm. so just to take away for all those women uh, be uh, positive passionate about your work about your uh, any any kind of uh, you know reading which you do and about the kind of uh, person you would like to become and set an example for your kids as well so it it was really great and apni ek baat kahi thi monica ji ki organizations they need to realize and uh, you know uh, एक ऐसे हमें उनके लिए हालात या एटमोसफियर क्रिएट करना चाहिए बट वो आपने जैसे बोला कि हाँ सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स हो सकते हैं हम कोचिंग दे सकते हैं वगैरह कर सकते हैं बट इसके लिए क्या कोई ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस के पास में यूके में या कहीं पे भी ऐसी कोई फैसिलिटीज अवेलेबल हैं कि कैसे बेहतर बनाया जाए वुमेन के लिए वर्क कल्चर उसके लिए डू वी हैव मैंटोरिंग अवेलेबल सम फॉर वुमेन Yeah so a lot of organizations um set up mentoring schemes not just for women but it's a great way to develop your staff more generally but obviously you can target it for women so you can focus on particular challenges that women might face for example coming back from maternity leave um so and and with mentoring you can have a sort of you know a corporate mentoring schemes that are actually organized by the by the organization but even individuals can go out and find their own mentors you don't have to wait for a company to set up a scheme there's nothing stopping as a woman um member of staff you know you, you go to a meeting and you see someone you think this is a senior leader and they're really interesting and they are working in the area that I want to work in I want to learn from them what is stopping you going to that person and saying can I have a coffee with you can I meet with you for 30 minutes next week and i want to ask you some questions about your job or you know i'm i'm in this situation and i would love to get your advice what's the worst that would happen Can the person I, says i'm too busy if if you know but hopefully they will turn around hopefully they will say yes come and speak with me and 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 that doesn't have to be one person it can be many people you don't have to have one mentor you can have many so yes corporates can corporate organizations or government organizations you know can can have a, a very organized mentoring scheme but there's nothing stopping an individual approaching another individual in the company saying can you it's always encouraged me? everywhere we've been saying because the organizations have become global they have become more and more recipient toward you know diverse uh, yeah. culture may it be uh, ethnic origin versus yeah. wise or sex wise that's just the same yeah. uh, our local councils do lot of free trainings okay and lot of posters are put on the council website and there are posters on the library of training for women mm-hmm. i have been through lot of trainings i uh, recently i did one training which was a extensive course of 3 days hr essentials and it was about new regulations about gdpr brexit mm-hmm. so those are kind of which are freely available they are freely available mm-hmm. there's one pro- uh, and course. are these uh, published irrespect- these are published and are these like irrespective of a particular line of business because you are in it's <coughs> irrespective of line of business you have project management courses mm-hmm. you have um, finance courses i mean just a small trick uh, for this woman who are watching that just go to event bright do a keyword search mm-hmm. say maybe finance and you will see lot of free finance meets available That's there scary. and lots of events happening there where you will meet like minded people get updated about current happening in your organizations or in your area of work so there are lot of free resources mm-hmm. which are available and we should make best use of those resources so eventbrite is something which you should look at 
and also look at your local council and also look at your local library where you will see a lot of free trainings. And when you attain those training, you kind of naturally develop your own network of like-minded people because they are co come here for that same course. So you can uh, learn from them and you could support each other because when you're talking about uh, fighting that stereotype, you have to first help yourself and create design, yeah, of, yeah. Uh, co create a system, system which yeah. would help you uh, to become more stronger and make your voices and opinions heard uh, within the organizations yeah. and within society. It builds your confidence, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. I think that's the problem because when you are away from work, whether it's maternity leave, caring leave or some other, um, you know, having having these opportunities to keep in touch and Agreed. keep updated. Agreed. Yeah, we're just going on a short break here. But yeah, uh, very, very good takeaways, especially for women. We cannot just blame uh, the organizations or, or male peers every time. We have to make sure that we are doing the right stuff and at the right moment so that we, we can, you know, just be aware, well-read, well-ready, so that when we come back to work, we don't give others a chance to judge us based on our capabilities. So read, spend time, and be ready for the corporates and the clients and work culture as and when you step in the office again. So here we get a, a short break. Uh, we'll catch up soon. Think, Jara? The hottest new data offer of the year is with Leica Mobile. Now you can get a phone-busting 40 gigabytes of data with UK Plan Mega, plus unlimited minutes and texts, and 100 international minutes for just £20 when you buy online. Valid for 30 days and EU roaming included. This amazing offer is available for both new and existing customers when purchased at leicamobile.co.uk. Terms and conditions apply. Leica Mobile. Fresh, treat fresh with lower altitude cabin pressure. Enjoy Air India Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Amazing feel, amazing features. Jay Lakhani. Sri Lakhani is a popular public speaker on Hinduism in the United Kingdom. He offers Hindu teachings to hundreds of youngsters, as well as thousands of students in schools, colleges, and universities. In a series of talks given to the postgraduate students at a dozen or so universities, he explores the depth of Hindu teachings as well as its breadth of vision. If you wish to get a glimpse of the modern, dynamic face of Hinduism, do not miss this series of talks. Board fresh, treat fresh, with lower altitude cabin pressure. Enjoy Air India Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Amazing feel, amazing features. Becoming a dad is fantastic. Right now, life seems better than ever, and I want to take care of my family in the future too. So I'm sorting out my life insurance with Beagle Street. If anything happened to me, the mortgage would be covered, the bills would be paid, and Sam will get a good start in life. Hello, Beagle Street, how can I help? Hi, I'm interested in life insurance. What kind of costs am I looking at? I'm confident it will cost less than you expect. Beagle Street is better value than many others. For example, a 32-year-old could get £200,000 of cover for under £7 a month. OK, sounds good. And it's really easy to apply. You don't need a medical. I'll just ask you a few questions about your lifestyle. Great. Let's go ahead. At Beagle Street, we look after our customers. Independent reviews rate us excellent, and we include a free will writing service worth £125. So take care of your family with our simple, affordable life insurance. Call 0800 980 0977 or go to BeagleStreet.com. School Jana to ek sapna tha. Rose dekta. Us khane wali gadi ko. Sab ko badhiya khana. 
खुशी होती थी देखकर फिर वो दिन आया जब मैं भी गया स्कूल लगा कि सपने देखने की ताकत मिल गई हो अरे पेट भरा हो तो पूरा ध्यान पढ़ाई में रहेगा ना प्रार्थना करता हूँ कि वो खाने वाली गाड़ी हमेशा स्कूल आती रहे थैंक यू अक्षय पात्र आइए हाथ बटाइए ताकि भारत में 16 लाख से भी ज्यादा बच्चों को स्कूल में पौष्टिक खाना मिलता रहे Uh, before we go ahead with our discussion, let me uh, tell you that we are taking live calls here, so you can call us and ask questions uh, to our renowned panelists. And the number is 0208 900 555. I repeat, 0208 900 555. So, आप कॉल कीजिए और मोनिका जी या प्रेरणा जी दोनों में से आप किसी से भी अपना सवाल पूछ सकते हैं और हम यहाँ कोशिश करेंगे कि आपके सवालों का जवाब दें. सो मोनिका जी एंड प्रेरणा जी वी हैव डिस्कस दिस कि हाँ ठीक है हमारे साइड से इश्यूज हो सकते हैं एक मेंटल ब्लॉक हो सकता है उससे कैसे निकलना एक नेगेटिव माइंडसेट नहीं रखना बट इर रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ दीज अगर फिर भी कोई वुमन वुमन अगर जेंडर बायस एट वर्क प्लेस एक्सपीरियंस करती है तो क्या करना है मतलब कैसे उससे uh, हमें uh, बाहर निकलना है या क्या पॉसिबल सोल्यूशन है So I think in the in the first instance, um, it's, it depends obviously on the situation and ki hua kya hai. But in you know using these support mechanisms such as mentors, such as uh, women's networks that are organ you know that are corporate women's networks, groups like these help strengthen. Um, you know, help us become aware in the first place ki how to spot these things and how to understand ki hua kya hai. And then using these groups are good places to go for advice because I mean I did a women's panel recently and okay. I was telling my story about some of the things I experienced when I worked at Scotland Yard when I worked in banking mm -hmm. and so many women came up afterwards and said, "Oh my God, I had the same exact thing happen to me." You know? So yeah, people don't realize that this is a kind of bias happening yeah. with them. So it always feels like it's it's just me. Exactly. It's only me. Yeah. So actually talking to other people is very very powerful. Just hearing about what's happened to other people, how have they tackled it? And, But and doesn't it uh, happen like people judge? Uh, for example, it happens with me, and I discuss with you. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be like, oh, she's just so uh, sissy. She's just so complaining all the time. Ye usi ka problem hai. People start judging a female employee. So that herself. depends on relationships. So if you have a mentor, for example, um, you know, you the reason you go to a mentor is to build a relationship with somebody that is more experienced than you, and you create a safe, trusting relationship where you can say, "Look, this is a situation that occurs," and also it's how you present the issue, right? So some of it is about how you feel, but some of it's about solutions. So if you say, "Okay, I have this situation," help me find a solution. That's At least first, positive. first of all, understand that there exists a problem, yeah. and then raise it to the right person and right committee. That's more important. And uh, there are, you know, there are ways in organizations yeah. which are formalized so, so, so that. Yeah so, yeah. yeah. so the methods I'm talking about are informal. Now, obviously, that might not work. Mm -hmm. You might go to a mentor, and mentor says, you know, say you have a problem with your manager, and you say, okay, go and have a conversation with your manager, and that's it doesn't smarter, work. Yeah. Then, of course, there are more formal channels, you know, such as HR. Um, you know, there. Will be each organization has a grievance uh, policy and a procedure and a process, and they will tell you who. You, so, for example, you might be a member of a trade union that mm -hmm. you can go and get advice from, you know, or a professional body or within HR. So there will be more formal avenues, but the the things I'm talking about is more informal. So talking yeah. to your peers, talking to a, somebody in a women's network, talking to a mentor. Uh, Monica and uh, uh, Sneha, there are provisions uh, within the organization to safeguard you. Uh, from gender bias, and mm -hmm. as we discussed, that Equality Act 2010 covers you from gender bias. Yeah, so people need to know that. It can be things happen now that even if a woman understands that there are laws and acts, so I, I'll them. tell you how how to go about uh, this. The first step would be having the informal chat with the person with whom you have. Problem, mm -hmm. and if you have tried that and that has not worked, then you have to go to a formal procedure. And okay. the first point in uh, that formal procedure is speaking to your line manager or speaking to your HR manager and discussing that issue. 
Yeah. And you and can remain anonymous from what I understand. Yeah, the you can remain have uh, anonymous. Yeah. yeah. So there are, there are ways of doing things. Mm -hmm. And you informally discuss that because as, as we discussed that many times those gender biases are so much embedded within the organizations or within the society that people don't even realize that that's part of gender bias. Mm -hmm. So whether you are being harassed or whether you are being sexually harassed or whether you are being directly or indirectly discriminated. So you need to understand what is happening with you. Uh, yeah, I'll get back to you on this. But before, one more time, let's remind you that our phone lines are open. Our number is 208 9000 Now you can call us. Before we have finished our show, you can ask our panelists to ask our questions. So, as you said, Prerna Ji, that yes, this is all. Now you can use a formalized way. Anonymous, you can also solve your problems. But this is not a very long life cycle. It's not a very long life cycle. It's not a very long life cycle. लंबा लाइफ साइकल नहीं है विद इन थ्री मंथ्स आप कर सकते हो एक्चुअली लीगली भी बट देर आर वेरियस स्टेजेस बाय विच यू कैन टैकल दैट इश्यू एस पहले हमने बताया कि इनफॉर्मल वे से फिर उसके बाद आपके एचआर और आपके लाइन मैनेजर के साथ बात करके तो हमें ये एक्चुअली पता होना जरूरी है कि सबसे पहले तो जहाँ समस्या है उधर आप एक बार बात करके देखिए क्योंकि हो सकता है जो आपके साथ में बायस कर रहे हैं या कोई भी तरह का अगर वो सेक्सुअल हरसमेंट भी है कई बार मेल पेयर्स को ये पता ही नहीं होता है कि वो हरसमेंट की कैटेगरी में जा रहा है और मे बी यूर गेटिंग अनकम्फर्टेबल बिकॉज ऑफ दैट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टॉक टू दैट वेरी पर्सन Get a help from your uh, mentor. Maybe you can have a combined discussion. Maybe your mentor can help and keep it very uh, friendly. Don't start accusing right away. Yeah. And then if that doesn't work, that means there is a there's an actual problem somewhere. So you can go talk to your line manager and then go formally to HR and then file a complaint, grievance. There are a lot of um, you know disciplinary committees always mm -hmm. there in the organization as well. So, ये सारी चीजें इस तरह से काम कर सकते हैं। और अगर आपको advice चाहिए, तो citizen advice bureau के साथ आप बात कर सकते हो, वो non judgmentally आपको advices दे सकते हैं। ये जो आप कह रहे हैं citizen advice bureau, ये हर type हर type के grievances के लिए आपको help करते हैं। किसी तरह का भी discrimination हो, किसी तरह का भी आपका organizational problem हो। और उसके बाद एक दूसरी बॉडी है जिसको अकेस कहते हैं ए सी ए एस इट्स एडवाइजरी काउंस एडवाइजरी कंसिलेशन एंड आर्बिट्रेशन सर्विस ये फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट सर्विसेज है जो आपको एडवाइस करते हैं कि इस तरह से आपके साथ हो रहा है तो आप नेक्स्ट स्टेप क्या करेंगे एंड बी अवेयर वेटिंग टाइम नहीं होता वो आपको एडवाइजेस देते हैं आपकी केस समझते हैं और बहुत बहुत ऑर्गेनाइज ध्यान रहे कि आपके रादर देन फाइटिंग जिनके साथ आपके प्रॉब्लम हुए वन टू वन फाइटिंग नहीं करनी चाहिए हमको जो हमारे ग्रीवेंसेस हैं हमारे ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस के साथ डील करने चाहिए बिकॉज ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस आर लीगली बाउंड to protect you from discrimination. So, this is a very important thing to understand. This is a CAS, which is free of cost, as Prerna has told us. This is a free of cost service for us. It's available for us. There's no waiting time. We get an advisory. Sometimes we get stranded. We cannot discuss our problems to someone who's uh, like in an organization ye aisa hota hai na ki organization mein, I'm the only woman in a team of males mm -hmm. to to waise mein ye a caste jo society jo ek body hai, it's really helpful agreed uh, ek bar, last ki kuch minute bache hain kuch hamare you know humne female uh, employees ke liye uh, baat kiya hai humne ye bhi samjha hai ki hame khud kaise taiyar rehna chahiye ya organizations ko kaise rehna chahiye i would like to touch upon what should be the mindset of male peers? कि उन्हें उन्हें ये पता ही नहीं होता है लाइक जैसे हमने कहा कि अब मैं जेंडर बायस का वो कर रहा हूँ या तो क्या एक माइंडसेट है और क्या होना चाहिए ये मैं समझना चाहूँगी so I think, I think it starts with awareness because we say gender bias. Gender bias is not just a women's issue. It's mm -hmm. a business issue. You know, it affects everybody. 50% mm -hmm. of the workforce come in and don't feel comfortable and can't give their best at work. The whole company loses out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I came across a case study. A, a big consumer goods company used to sell household goods, you know, and, and they realized, I mean, it's a massive international company. They realized that they weren't, they didn't have enough women at the top. Mm -hmm. And but most of their customers, the people that actually buy, and you know, are women, and they weren't understanding them. So, 
a lot of it's about mindset, realizing that actually this issue affects everybody, men included, you know. So actually, if we get this right, it helps everybody. So it starts with awareness, understanding what are the biases, you know, what, what, where, are the, where are the places that decisions are made? How can we make those decisions really, really objective? And then that's sort of more at a corporate level. But then on an individual level, if you are, you know, a, a male member of staff, you might have females working for you. You might have females in your family. It's, again, understanding those biases and helping to create an environment where everybody feels they can be their best and they can really contribute so it's 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 a win-win it's important for both genders to be involved in this women can't do this alone and women shouldn't do it alone exactly you cannot just keep on pushing yourself uh, if you know there is not a you know hand to shake your hand mm -hmm. from the other side yes that's that's absolutely there and you know there, like you said the awareness ke saath mein ek, ek empathetic feeling bhi hona chahiye one should not be self centered that it is uh, my work i am doing it better you should be uh, accept you know you should be accepting that others can also do better at times mm -hmm. than you or maybe they can do as good as you mm -hmm. correct prerna ji aapka kya take hai isme main samajhti hu ki men bahut bada role play kar sakte hai organizational level and personal uh, level pe हमको हमेशा ये देखना है कि हमने प्रोग्रेस किया है चीजें इम्प्रूव हुई है और और आगे बढ़ना है एंड हमको एक दूसरे को कॉम्प्लीमेंट करना है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के पॉलिसीज इस तरह से डिजाइन करो कि जहाँ इंटरक्शन हेल्दी हो मेल फीमेल का मेंटोरिंग अगर लेनी है किसी मेल को तो उनको फीमेल के साथ मेंटोरिंग कर सकते हैं राइट right? और मेल्स का भी ये ड्यूटी है कि अपने पियर्स के साथ अपने फीमेल पियर्स के साथ बात करे एंड अंडरस्टैंड देयर स्ट्रगल कल्चर में इंग्रेन करने की कल्चर में बहुत इंग्रेन करने की जरूरत है एंड वंस दे अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू नो दीज आर द डे टू डे स्ट्रगल्स दे हैव सो रियल टाइम स्टोरीज एंड एक्चुअली टेकिंग द स्टॉक ऑफ द डेटा दैट दीज आर द पॉलिसीज दीज आर द इक्वालिटी पॉलिसीज वी हैव इंप्लीमेंटेड दीज आर रिक्रूटमेंट पॉलिसीज वी हैव इंप्रूव एंड दिस इज द रिजल्ट so we have to take a stock real time data aapka jo hai ye real time stories hai Correct. and aapke organizations mein jo changes hai us tarah se aapko ek culture mein aana hai aur males ko aur females ko opportunity equal deni hai ek dusre ko samajhne ke liye maternity leave ki agar baat kare to humne maternity leave liye hai because new fathers hai agar hum unko encourage kare ki aap thoda part time kaam kar sakte ho ya aap flexibility le sakte ho ये बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है इसी पॉइंट पे हमारे yeah. साथ एक कॉलर जुड़े हैं प्रेरणा जी लास्ट के कुछ मिनट बचे हैं सॉरी हेलो 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 सॉरी वी कैन नॉट हियर यू हेलो हेलो हाय हेलो यस वी कैन हियर यू आई आई एम सॉरी कांट हियर ओके लेट अस स्विच Is this not into the area? Okay, so, थोड़ा connection का issue है. Hello, can you hear me? My name is Sonu Malkani. I think caller is back with us. Hello. Um, yes, my name is Sonu Malkani. I've been watching your program very carefully, mm -hmm. and I think it's really good to know that you're encouraging men also to step forward because yes. this is something we find. Yeah, thanks a lot, uh, Sonu ji. Uh, thanks a lot for that. Uh, appreciate appreciation uh, always uh, pays off. We will try to perform even better. And and also the other thing that you said is to contact organizations mm -hmm. rather than to take things in their own hands. Mm -hmm. Correct. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks a lot. So that was uh, not a questioning call. That was an appreciation call. Thanks a lot, Sonu Malkani ji. We are we are really grateful that you called us. You appreciated us and you know encouraged us so this is how this is a perfect example you know that women should uh, co create that atmosphere to work uh, and you know to uh, encourage each other for the betterment of the society and themselves mm -hmm. so sonu ji has appreciated uh, both of you and uh, the show for our uh, initiative uh, and for the points which we raised for male and females both mm -hmm. so last couple of minutes uh, just quick takeaways from both of you we'll start with you monika ji uh, takeaways from today's uh, session what would you give yeah i mean i think look we've come a long way 
Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, certainly I feel very optimistic about this whole journey. We've come a long way mm -hmm. um, and organizations doing a lot. There's more they can do, definitely. But I think the key takeaway for me is um, thinking about what you as an individual can do. How mm -hmm. can you own your own career journey? How can you, you know, the, the different things that you can do? I think technology gives us access to so much more information and people. And the other thing I would say is, is build your network, you know, both within the company and outside as well, uh, because you always learn. Perfect. Understood. So two, three things. Use technology for betterment. You build your network. You know, like charity begins from home, betterment and better work life and atmosphere ecosystem begins with you. So focus on yourself as well. And uh, also mentoring. I would mentoring, say, yeah. Mentor, mentor, yeah. And work for that yourself as well. Uh, Prerna ji, quick takeaway. No, I'm very optimistic uh, that uh, we have made a lot of progress and there is scope of improvement. And as I discussed that it's our responsibility that we create awareness, we make our voice heard, we make our presence felt. And those women who have reached at the top become a good role model for other women and create that support network for uh, organizations. And for organizations, there's a strong business case to promote gender equality and for women motherhood or breaks it's okay but don't get bogged down by those facts prepare work hard take responsibility and this is a fair world but you have to be prepared and you have to ask for your rights and you have to be aware of your rights so that uh, you Agreed. can perform. so be aware be optimistic don't don't have those negative thoughts that you know people are there to bring me down and everything like that be ready always uh, be on your toes keep reading you are a superwoman so you can take care of your kids family and yourself as well and if you are facing some problems reach out to the right people in the uh, right forums in your organization and your peers, everyone will try to help you because it is a fair world. Mm -hmm. So that was a very fruitful discussion. Uh, Monica Ji and Prerna Ji, we are really grateful to have you uh, here with us. And uh, viewers, we would like to take uh, a quick moment to say thanks a lot. Happy Navratri, happy Durga Puja. And we are, ha you know, there will be a lot of festivals coming soon. Uh, so happy Diwali and all the uh, great festivals. Enjoy. Thanks a lot for being with us. Puri Nari to Narayaniki team ki or se aapko bahut bahut thank you.